hyper accurate and uh, yeah he gets a win there he brings this score back to 5-4 one game lead for Wesley he's not letting it get out of hand is Nihal and you know nope. three games would be a little much but Wesley is this is where I think his anti-tilt mechanism comes in he's so hard to unsettle doesn't get too high with the highs doesn't get too low with the lows just keeps playing keeps keeps it consistent and this is also a pivotal game most likely going to be the last one of the five minute portion and I feel like, uh, you know, Wesley's in that mode right now where sometimes you're just on like a massive uh, bender, like chess bender, and you just play so <laughs> long that, you know, outside your house just turns from day to night while you're playing. And it's, oh, it's yeah. like the harrowing. Like it's just gotten dark in his room and he, he's so engrossed in the play that he can't go turn on the lights. So. Right, just you just don't shadows. care. The, 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 the yeah. added work that it requires to get up and turn the light on is just no, not no, worth breaking your concentration. It's overcast skies right now. Right. I. <laughs> this this brings back so many memories of 80-game matches with Hikaru when I was in college. And I remember one time I played a... Se remember this vividly, a 77-game match with Hikaru, 3 plus 0. And <laughs> we started around 7 p.m. I have an exam the next day. At around 10 p.m., my, my roommate walks in, good friend of mine, uh, and he's 1,700, so he knows what's going on. He brings some friends to his room. They have a party. Uh, they have fun. They all leave. He goes to bed, and it's like time has completely stopped, and I'm still playing him. <laughs> I ended at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, like an entire party it's, that just occurs, uh, happens, <laughs> ends. <laughs> right. It kinda, you know contracts are signed business deals are made and, so are you uh, saying that playing hikaru for seven straight hours isn't fun oh it's <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what to say to that i i could tell you that it's probably more fun than when i play him because uh, I, I don't <laughs> i don't get wins as often but, that's for sure but still i mean when you when you get on those losing streaks oh yeah anything anything on my desk got a nice slamming Okay, so the mouse, <laughs> the printer. And all this to say that that's not Wesley. <laughs> no, that is exact, absolutely not Wesley. The exact opposite is Wesley's so. <laughs> Okay, so what's going on here? We've got a, a hanging pawn structure, which is defined as the C and D pawns. They don't, they don't have neighbors. The B and E pawns are missing, so you can think of them as sort of like a pawn island in and of themselves. And hanging pawn structure is not good or bad inherently. It all depends on how the other pieces are placed. Right. And it's it's hard to, to judge who's more active here. I think Black has uh, acquitted himself quite, quite nicely here with this bishop on b7, d4 ideas in the air. Yep. Probably equal overall. Equal, but I'm taking black probably <laughs> every I... day of the week here. Um, there's something that you might consider, like, yeah, I was gonna say queen h4, uh -huh. but um, you know, the rook's swinging to g5 or h5, d4 is happening, bishop d6, like, this looks like a massive attack. Yeah, this looks like one of those things that you know, Nihal has to contain right now, or else it's gonna explode. He right. goes knight g3, you cannot take it, <laughs> you right? Because it. If this position was in attack, like if if Nihel loses this game to some attack, this is exactly the point where they would have a diagram in the book and be like, and Black's attack starts to brew. You know, like yes. you know, this would be the moment Storm. where you realize it's completely like everything's building up. Storm clouds start to gather around White's King. <laughs> and yeah, well, I'm Wesley, not seeing it though. His webcam is indicative of the storm brewing, you know, on right. game and on the board, you can tell. But here's the thing. It's also very easy to lose control here. That queen on a4 is surprisingly versatile. It's pinning the knight, and it can jump out to d7 at the right moment. And uh, Wesley going h5, the evil bar did not like that move. I feel similarly. I, I felt like the, the rook needed to have some of those squares available and that the h pawn maybe was a little bit slow and wow we see sure. the light go wait, on huge wait a second. huge daniel what about f3 let me ask a simple question what about f3 where are you going to go in the night simple questions have simple answers um nowhere <laughs> right <laughs> and i think it's it's just so easy to forget that this pin exists f3 looks like it wins a piece it doesn't end the game 
ah, black maybe has C4. This is what Nihal is calculating. And then maybe bishop takes c4, and then f4, trying to dry everything up on the king side, and then pick off c4. Like that, that still looks good for white. And I can. <laughs> <laughs> <What's> <laughs> yep, that look. That's cash money right there. C4. All right. All right. And I can guarantee you, this is exactly what he's calculating at this very moment. You could even play <laughs> bishop b4 and f4. I always love this. It, yeah. Like there's awesome. two pawns there and now there's zero. And Nihal going rook e to d1. Choosing a far quieter move and keep it something he didn't like about the move f3. Still looking pretty good for white here at this point. So <laughs> it's funny, I was thinking at like, you know, the fact that bishop c7 can happen at any time. And it's just weird to think that bishop on a5 can join the king side in full defense. Um, right. Immediately, basically. Oh, well, by the way, I believe where Nihal is at in 20 minutes, it's about to be Tuesday. And you know what that <laughs> yeah. means. <laughs> right. uh -oh, that three minute Trouble portion. <laughs> uh, well, that's where Smarter Chess predicted a pretty hefty win for Wesley. So we'll see. Wait a minute. Bishop takes e4. This is apparently completely winning for some reason. <laughs> is Bishop's... the bishop on b7 just basically trapped? Like, doesn't yeah, well, there's there, there's many things I can do. Queen d7 is the is the most natural. But yeah, queen d7 sets up knight f5. But what about bishop c3? Oh no, apparently not. <laughs> 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 Never mind. I was just making sure the eval bar was working. So we've had some <laughs> issues with it not reacting. Queen d7, knight f5 looks crushing. And bishop a6 is queen c6. So bishop c8 oh, yeah. probably only moved. Queen d7, bishop c8, and then what? You, at the very minimum, can play queen c6 and queen c7. Look at this. Everything hangs. That's beautiful. And well done. You. I just underestimated queen d7. It's not the kind of move that looks like it wins on the spot. But Wesley, he just buried himself here on the king side. And, you know, he's left his minor pieces to the wolves <laughs> so and, the, and his rook. But you pointed it out. It doesn't look like it should win everything, but that's why he's missed it. It's so counterintuitive. You don't and think of queen d7 as a KO. This is basically the same thing, um, except bishop d5 is an additional option. And what is Nihal cooking up um, against it? Perhaps bishop c7. Uh, takes on d5, queen b7, and then you have some knight f5. Oh, are you kidding me? Now black can play rook d8, say no, I'm out of the woods. No, you're not. Knight f5, forking the bishop in the end. That would be a yeah, sick exactly. way to end the game. I think Wesley's going to play bishop d5. I, and I think you go for it. I think that line oh. is exactly what we're going to see. And the, the maturity, the presence of mine. Nihal took a minute and a half. That's not easy to do when you know, you've got a minute and a half, two minutes on the clock. But he realized that if he finds the right approach here, the game ends immediately. That's it. And he's going to end the five-minute portion on a streak of two wins. He's going to equalize the match at five apiece. Aman, what an incredible five-minute portion. They had those nerves at the start, but I feel like they've turned it around, both of them, quite handsomely. They have played incredible chess. Yeah. And uh, first, Neil, of course, has to put the finishing touches on this game. And by the way, Check H3, H3. <laughs> and then King H2, I think, is the way to go. It's gorgeous. I wanted to see it happen just because it's so pretty.